What was that like knowing that Liam Neeson read your stuff and not only that, but obviously connected to it and really liked it? Like what what is that like to have someone like that be like, I like your stuff? It's kind of mind blowing, guys. I mean, and, and and there are some other folks who read it too that, you know, um, it was equally mind blowing because you just grew up watching these people in these classic movies and, and idolizing them. And then even when you get a pass from someone like that, um, you know, like we were in talks for a while with Kevin Costner about the project and it's just, it, it, it's crazy. You're just, you wake up every day and you pinch yourself, you know, because even a pass, you know that they read it and they considered it and they saw some kind of value and, and, and all those gatekeepers, the agents and the managers that, that filter, uh, this stuff, you know, they saw the value in it and they passed it along to their client and and then they read it. So it it's really cool. Yeah, I, I to this day, I'm I'm still pinching myself. Uh, my partner, Danny, and I are, are talking to a company about uh, doing a, a novel based on the film right now as well. And, wow. you know, we we've kicked around ideas for, uh, you know, sequels if the movie does well. And, and so it's it's been so much fun, so much fun. We're, we're very grateful. Well, I gotta say that's that's a great way to look at it too, because I'm sure there's a lot of no's outside of Hollywood no's, right? There's a lot of rejection in that industry in general, whether you're a filmmaker, a writer, uh, you know, an actor, whatever. There's a lot of no's. There's a lot of gatekeepers, and I think that's a great thing to remember is that your stuff got through to the end person that you wanted it to, and they read it. And like you said, even though they passed on it, they actually read it because there was something there, and that is gotta be. Like one of the coolest things to be like, because at that point you got to be like, someone will probably get on board with this because you know it's it's getting it's getting read to some degree. So I I wow I can't fathom for even a second for me to create something to then have someone of note be like, hey, I like this. I'd be like, huh? well, also <laughs> a credit. To, I mean, it just goes to show you how much you've busted your ass too to get Without yourself a to doubt. this point. Like, so I mean all the credit in the world to you and, and all of your partners that you work with. Thanks yeah. guys. Yeah. I mean the, the stuff you don't read about in those announcements is all the, all, are all the no's you got over the years. And you know, you, you hit a dead end and, and, and your producer tells you, well guys, we got to do an overhaul of the script. <laughs> and, and there was a lot of that, you know, and <laughs> just when you think you're about to, you know, get the green light, all of a sudden, right. you know, you get a pass and you're starting to question things or what's going on in the world is a little too close to home politically. And mm -hmm. you got to tone that down. And so it was countless revisions. It was a lot of, uh, a lot of rejection. Uh, fortunately our, our producer, who's also our manager, he believed in this project, uh, since early on when, when the script was, was good, but nowhere near where it needed to be. And yeah. he didn't give up on it. And we, we had dinner with him, when we were in the, that dream state of Ohio. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, good old Ohio. Uh, and he said, you know, he said that it was interesting for him because a lot of his colleagues in Hollywood, they work on stuff that, that gets easy traction, you know? And it's usually because it's got, got the right package and the timing's right. And he said he's one of those guys who... If he likes something, if he has a gut feeling about it and he cares about it, he sticks with it, even if it takes 10 years. And two projects, uh, the Marksman being one of them, for him, uh, took off at about the same time, and it was really rewarding for him. Uh, so you, it, it's, it helps to have people like that in, in your corner who are in a position of power and can get the script out there and get it in the right hands and, and who believe in it. Cause it is not, it is not easy, especially for your first time, you know, like it's, it's a, it's a difficult road, but I would say to anybody who's trying to pursue that, whether it's screenwriting or, or something else, like the lesson learned is if you believe in it and you're willing to put in the time and, and deal with the rejection, don't give up. 